so this is my beautiful model Gabby um, so to start this makeup look I just started off by cleansing her face using some facial astringent and then after that I used some moisturizer and then the Fenty primer to prime her face she was getting ready for a photo shoot for her business so she just wanted something natural yet something that stood out a little bit so after moisturizing and prepping her skin I went in with a prep spray by Urban Decay and then we just got right into brows she had a little tint left over on some of her brows but she had a really nice brow space to shape her brows I used my elf concealer and I just made the, her shade and I shaped it using a thin flat brush and I concealed the top and the bottom so they could have a really nice shape and pop. And then after doing that I went in with a fluffy brush and I just blended out the concealer. To prime her lid I used the P. Louise base in the shade number 3 along with some of the leftover concealer that I used for her brows so it could darken it up because 3 is a little bit light. Um, but that's the darkest color that I have. So after putting it on her lid, I just did patting motions to press it in. And then I went in with like a nice natural brown Juvia's Place eyeshadow and I just put it all over her lid. Like I said, she wanted something natural, but something that still stood out a little bit. So I just made sure I just did patting motions for the most part so the primer could pick up the eyeshadow with a little bit of swiping motions. Um, I'm using a Morphe eyeshadow brush and yeah I just did it until it got the color payoff that I wanted so I just gave her some inner corner highlight it was a shimmer champagne color from my Juvia's Place palette and I just put it on the inner portion of her eyes and you could just see how it makes a difference so just to give her that slight pop that she wanted I went in with one of my Glow Up Academy shimmers from Kiki Adams Glow Up Academy and it was just like a nice gold and I didn't even spray my brush I literally just picked up a little bit on my flat brush and just lightly patted it onto the inner portion of her lid not even really going too midway so you see how it just scintillates and sparkles and just pops a little bit so yeah sat that there and for foundation I use my NARS luminous foundation I two-tone colored I do not know I know I used a mixture of medium dark um, foundations for her but I do not remember the names I literally just grab and go so I just use the flat brush to apply it all on her face whenever you're putting foundation on you always want to use a darker color on the outer perimeter and a lighter color on the inner portion because that's usually how a lot of our faces are naturally anyway um, so yeah I just put that on and then I like to use a nice flat angled brush so when I put the foundation on I can carve out the top brow again so it doesn't get messed up with the foundation. So for lashes um, we went in with my lash from my business. Uh, Notions Artistry and this is called Flirty. Um, it is one of my top selling lashes that I have and it's on the longer side but you could get away with it for a lot of things like if you want something to pop yet something that's not too much flirty is perfect it literally lives up to its name so to blend out the foundation I went in with my Real Techniques Instapot brush and I love this to for blending out foundation I just sped this part up but um, you just want to tap it into the skin never press so you see how I'm just pressing it into the skin never swiping because you really want it to just melt like butter into someone's skin as long as the skin is prepped right it should just melt right in you never want to swipe foundation because you're literally gonna see swiping streaks on your face and that's not cute so for concealer I use the Fenty concealer um, and I just put it on her chin, cupid's bow, bridge of her nose, forehead, and underneath her eyes.
and to cream contour I used the uh, Julie Ju not Julius place I use black opal cream stick foundation and I just put it on her cheekbone area and on the sides of her nose because her forehead and sh because of her hairstyle I don't really like to cream contour the forehead too much because you really don't need to um, but yeah Prior to blending out any type of makeup, whether it's foundation or concealer and contour, I always like to prep the face. And you can use the setting spray. Um, and I go, I went in with my damn beauty blender and I just did patting motions again and I pressed it in to her skin. So to set the concealer, I always make sure I target the under eye first. So I go in with my damp beauty blender and I make sure that all any creases that are there from the concealer are blended out. And right after it's all blended out perfectly, I go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush now and put the setting powder. So the setting powder that I used was the translucent one by Laura Mercier and I like to once again you see what I'm doing here I'm blending it out I'm making sure that it's good because if you set a crease that's what you're gonna do you're gonna set a crease and that crease is just gonna sit there and you don't want that so you want to blend it out and then put an initial layer of setting powder so that's what I'm doing here and then you guys will see that I'm gonna go in and start baking so I do the initial coat and then after that I go in and I put that setting powder so it could bake for a while. I like to put it here in the laugh line area because when people naturally speak, uh, their laugh they have laugh lines, it starts to crease. So a trick is once again, make sure that your makeup is fully blended out and then throw some setting powder on it and it will help that area last a little longer, especially if you have deep laugh lines. So. Um, and I just put it in all the areas that we concealed and then also when you put the powder on bring it on the sides of your nose That area does get oily for most people and it sets it really nicely So then to set the contour I went in and I believe I used dark deep by Mac and I used my elf brush for her cheekbones and then I just used a regular eyeshadow brush and used it to contour her nose If you really want eyes to pop, try giving, um, putting some eyeshadow on the bottom portion of the eye. So I'm just using one of my Morphe brushes and using that color that we put on her lid and just putting it there. And I like to put it on when there's the powder is still sitting there because if there's any fallout, you could just swipe it away. So to make this loose setting powder melt into her skin, I always use the foundation brush that I use. Um, and I use it to press in that powder because it melts it right into the skin So to set her face some more I went in with dark by Mac and I just put it you know all, all over her face so it could set some more So initially to line her lips I went in with a dark brown lip pencil um, To line it and then I realized that I forgot to give her blush. So I'm going in with an orangey shade, which is my favorite one from Juvia's Place. And I'm just putting it on. You can see immediately the difference. Look how rosy her cheeks are. So I'm just using a um, blush brush and tapping it into the skin like always. And then I just went in with some clear brow gel by Sephora and I set her brows so they could stay in place and not move around. And then for highlighter, I went in with some Fenty um, highlighter and I put in all the areas that we concealed. Um, 
cheekbones, tip of the nose, cupid's bow area, chin, bridge of the nose, forehead. I even like, for her I didn't, but I love to put some on the brow bone right underneath the brow. It really makes it pop when that sun hits the face. It's just shining and it's really, really nice. So you see here, I'm putting it on her cupid's bow. So what you guys are gonna see is when it comes to lining her lips, like I said, she was having a photo shoot. So I wanted to make sure that her lips, like, you know, if you wanna wear makeup all day, I did her makeup in the morning. If you have a good lip liner, you know, lipstick or lip gloss is gonna eventually come off. But if you have a good liner and your lips stay lined, all you have to do is reapply. So after I put her lipstick on, I went in with the brown Juvia's Place liquid matte lipstick and I lined her lips and then I just did my favorite combo and I put lipstick in a gloss and this was the completed, completed look. She loved it, I loved it, it was fun. Um, she was feeling herself and she looked beautiful. So this is it in natural lighting. Okay, a slay. Natural lighting, she looked beautiful. And then I just like to get some footage on my phone with it dark because when you have so many lights on, it sometimes can draw on the color. But I was getting footage, which I will guys show you, show you guys in the next clip. So this was with um, in my glam room. Um, it wasn't completely dark because of outside, the window, the light, but then this was in the hallway and she just looked really beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch some other videos that I have. See you guys next time.